Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Vindicator QS. Get vindictive with Vindicator QS. Alright, well, it's been, well, not quite a month, but a fair bit of time since the last episode ran, in game time. And I've done a lot of work to the max. You'll notice that they're all back except for the Rabid Coyote. Now, it is underway, currently under construction. Uh, it is a melee mech. Am I happy with it? Not really. How well is it going to do? I have no idea. We still have to get a pilot for it. I will try it out, but I have a feeling it's just going to end up in storage at some point. Um, but yeah. Okay, first things first. Um, going to have a look at the avatar. The pool seems to be going overwhelmingly in favor of the rotaries. So I did a rotary build on this. I'm happy to to do some changes later on. But let's have a quick look at this guy before we go into the main lance here. So the avatar took a little bit of work tweaking to get it running how I wanted it. Oh yeah, I forgot it was in this here. Okay, so we've got upper recoil QS on both arms, which gives us the minus one recoil, which is nice. Uh, heavy rotary rifle on each arm. We've got five tons of Sabo and three tons of regular ammo. Looking to just peel armor off mechs with this thing. That's the main goal. Double heat sink kit with a pair of double heat sinks and a pair of medium lasers as backups. Got the rangefinder in here with the plus one gunnery, which will help a little bit with keeping recoil down. Uh, advanced optics mark three on this thing, so we have the best possible chance to hit at all ranges. Um, it was the best one I had, so that's the one I threw on here. I didn't really have much else I could throw on here. I wanted to put on a handheld rotary two just to add to the uh, decimation of this thing, but. I couldn't fit it on, and we needed 10 tons for that, so uh, I just went with the double, bol uh, triple bolt-on rockets. This just gives us an extra little bit of firepower. When these rotaries are down, we're going to have a pair of medium lasers, so this will help out a little bit. We got the uh, fire control system advanced TC in this thing. Gives us plus one offensive push accuracy, but minus 20% multiplier to jam chance. So that's huge for us. And now it also increases the... Uh, Shot location modifier by 20% for called shots, which is also nice too. So if we decide to pinpoint somebody and hammer them, like if somebody shuts down, they're pretty much dead. And with that, we were able to drop in a battle computer heat, which we needed because this is running pretty damn hot. I mean, with the medium lasers off, it's we're not that hot at all, but it will run hot. And a battle computer recoil. So that's like three points of recoil reduction. Plus one for the pilot is four. Does it matter? Not really, because this thing has a recoil of three above two. So if we're firing both of these rotaries at six shots per, then we're looking at uh, 24 recoil. So we'd be dropping four of that, that, so we would have 20 recoil. It's a little high in recoil, yeah, but um, yeah, it's a bit of an issue. So these things do minus, so I was doing the calculations wrong. So this is minus 25 damage delta armor. So rather than doing 60 damage to the armor, it does 45 and then the Sabo ammo does 60% more on top of the 45. So uh, let's see what, six times four and a half is 24, 27 more damage. So 60, 72, if I'm correct, 72 damage per shot. But still it's, it's 12 times, <laughs> it's 12 times 72. So like it's taking if it hit, if it decided to hit all the locations on a medium mech, it's stripping all of the armor off in one shot, right? Like if that's the, if they all land, a medium mech has no armor left over at all, um, if it's not already dead. So this thing is brutal. We'll have, I'm not going to try it out today. This is tomorrow. I want to run the main lance today, um, but this is a, this will be a tomorrow mission. We'll see how it goes. I, I got a feeling it's just going to ruin people. Now I thought about taking the. I thought about taking the Centurion out of service, but I wasn't as, I was more okay with the Centurion than I am with the Talos. The Talos seems very sketchy. So I removed the Talos completely from service, which was a bonus because that was where the fire control system advanced was. It was in the Talos. So I pulled that out of there, um, which really helps this build out a little bit, I think. So the Talos is gone. Um, Boomer is not... He's the pilot that's piloting the Centurion right now, so he would be piloting this thing. 
He's still relatively lower level, whereas Vision, who's the guy that's going to be piloting this, is a little higher level, a little better pilot. So hopefully that'll help compensate for this. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But that's the loadout. Can't wait to see how this goes. Now, the main lance. The main lance I had to do a lot of work on, a lot of tweaking. So the commando's gone. I'm moving the Quick Cell Panther from the command mech down to here. Um, so we lost... We didn't really lose much. It had, what, a couple of lasers and some streaks. So those were removed. Now this quick cell panther, uh, this panther here was, had minor modifications done to it. So I took off the shotgun and I took off the medium pulse laser. And what I ended up doing here was the QS stayed on, the, the flak uh, stayed on. I put streaks in the arm and we were able to pull off the what did I do? Oh yeah, I added endo steel because we had the quick cell triple strength Myanmar in here before, which wasn't enough. It gave us like 8.75, I think, tons carrying capacity, which wasn't enough to hold the handheld rack. So I, re I replaced the Faro with heavy industrial armor and put endo steel in, which gave us a bit extra weight, which was why I was able to drop a streak in the arm here. We only had like, t like two tons of weapons in the arm, but now we had we had enough to drop in the streak and the the, um, the ammo for it. So that's kind of a bonus. I left the two Rex lasers in. I pulled the medium pulse out. It, I know it, technically it's probably a better choice than the Rex laser, but the Rex laser is QS, which is why I left it in. Uh, so the streaks are in here. Yeah, and that's it. We got the handheld rack too. It doesn't do a lot of damage for 10 tons, um, but it does have built-in um, ammo. And it does have a jam chance as well, 6% jam chance per shot mitigated by gunnery so it's probably going to jam every time we fire it which is fine because we're going to go full six shots anyway like we're just going to like wind it up we have 120 rounds on this thing so that's like 20 turns of continuous firing so we're going to just wind it up and use it whenever we get a chance to fire things off it does add one recoil but it's not a big deal the x-pulse is adding to each so you know it is what it is so that's this guy oh yeah it's maxed out maxed out armor and everything and then I think I did a couple of minor tweaks. I did a minor tweak to the Valkyrie. Let's have a look what I did here. So it's not much. Um, so the Valkyrie maintains the weapon systems in here. And what did I do? Oh yeah, we were we were short a ton on this guy. We were like like light a ton. And I was hoping to add something. We had one slot, but I couldn't really figure out what we could add to this thing to make it better so in order to compensate I swapped out the regular ferro for light ferro and then put four uh, quick cell peel and stick uh, armor pieces in because these things are like um, what uh, where is it here yeah 0.1 ton they add plus eight armor to their location so I just this thing's a little more armored now it is a faster mech so it's going to be moving in oh yeah and I, I did put the other we ended up with another speedy leg actuator so I dropped it in here so this thing is in unstable, um, so it, there's a chance it could get knocked over easier, but with the increased armor and stuff, it should help out a little bit. Movement is actually quite fast, it's 810, which is kind of nice. So um, yeah, that's this guy here. Oh, and I put in the advanced zoom. I, took, I did take out the, um, I don't have a, I was able to get an advanced zoom mark two in the store, was it two or three? I think it was the three, I think it was this one I got in the store. For like six hundred thousand, it was relatively cheap, so I bought it and put it in this guy just because you know it'll give him the bonus like range plus one to accuracy to hit. Now it once I can find it to zoom one, I'll replace this out and put it in another mech that could use it. But right now that's all I had that I could put in the Valkyrie. So that's that. The Panther QS4. I was gonna pull out the rotary. Not that really. I'm not that happy with it, but I did switch out the loadout slightly on this guy. We had a lot of heat. Uh, heat sinking capability in this thing um, so we had the rotary rifle and and we had um, yeah that's it we had well we had the rotary we had two mediums that was what it was and I had a lot of heat sinking left over and I'm like why do I only have mediums in there so I put in a medium approved heavy laser clan in the center torso hopefully we don't get cord and we get to keep this thing and then an ER medium laser in the arm keeping them I kept the modular armor on this thing I was going to move it to someone to somebody else but 
I figure we'll leave it in here to help protect the rotary rifle. This whole arm has got a lot of valuable stuff in it. So it's got 78 armor in the arm here. It's pretty good. Uh, we got the two recoil mounts on this thing. So that's this guy, uh, Advanced Optics Mark 1. So, I mean, it, like this thing doesn't fire out to very far distance. So hopefully we can land a few of these shots in here and get some good damage. Now let's move over to the, Velc or the um, Vindicator. The Vindicator, I spent a long time loading this guy out, and I don't think it's still right, the correct build. I tried to stay as true to Quicksell as I could with this thing, but we don't really have a lot. And this is a, one of those mechs that just doesn't have the right balance, I feel. I don't, I, I'd be interested to see, because like, we didn't take the trebuchet, I'd be interested to see what the trebuchet is like once we get that. But this mech, it's a weird balance. There's not a lot of room because of the, all these engine slots here, right? It's an internal combustion engine, meaning that this thing runs relatively cool. Um, I got the uh, the, uh, double, the uh, quick cell double heatsink kit in here. I went with an LBX PPC on this because I figure it is a quick cell weapon. We haven't really had a chance to use this all that much. That coupled with the combat shotgun should strip strip armor fairly well. We got the optics, advanced optics mark II, so these guys are always in range. Now this thing's got a recoil of four, which is a little high. So I tried to stay away from any other weapons that would in, would add to recoil. Now that the small X pulse does, but this is really a backup weapon. It's only 300 meters. We're not going to be firing it all the time, but you know, it will add to recoil. So I didn't have to be very wary of that. But to round things out, I got a pair of SRM sixes. I got a uh, Holly in the arm here. Gives us plus one accuracy. Now there's a better chance for it to be shot down by AMS, but I would rather keep the one accuracy. We haven't been encountering too, too much AMS. Now when we do, you know, it does shoot down a lot, but we, we've got a regular SRM6 in here too, which doesn't have a problem with that. we got a half ton of acid and a regular, and we've got a full ton of regular ammo. So we have lots of ammo for these. Am I completely happy with it? Not really. Like, we've got the AR-12 sheath beacon in here for protection. I was going to get the, um, I was trying to get the, uh, um, like, a, like a quick sell, um, Guard Dog Electronic Warfare Suite in here, but we just didn't have the space or the weight because you can see we're maxed out in space, right? I had to put the hybrid t uh, TSM in here in order to get the combat shotgun in. Uh, we're at 11.25 tons. It's going to be interesting. It would be nice to be able to run with a combat shotgun and a rotary handheld too on a heavier mech, but I think we you need an advanced optics in pretty much whatever mech you use. I think it's the mo more important. Uh, we got gunnery support here. Um, and a uh, comm suite in. I, I don't really have much left wise electronics to drop in my mechs. Uh, where are we down here? Like we have got a weird kind of eclectic mix of stuff um, that's really niche and specific. So an Artemis build for a, a missile mech, you know, breaching shot build for something with like a heavy AC weapon, a flamer build one. So nothing that we can really take too much advantage of them at the moment um, with the mechs that we have. Now we do have a few, I mean, there's a couple of minor things here that are okay. The one thing I did pull off with one of my mechs, I, came, well, I think it came off the, uh, well we do have an advanced zoom mark II left down here. Um, the sentinels, the uh, sentinel sensors came off of the um, commando. So I mean there's a few things here we're still good for exchangers. Double heat sink kits were okay. Got a lamb engine. So, I mean, we're okay, but I'm interested to see how this runs. I don't, I don't know. It just feels, for the increase in 10 tons in weight, I don't feel like we're getting that increase in damage. Like, we've gone up by about, what, 18% in weight, but I don't think we're getting an additional 18% in damage. I mean, we might. If the SRM start landing, it'll be great. we got the Artemis to help that out a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, this our, our main guy, Jenkins, is actually pretty accurate with most of his stuff. So uh, he's the best pilot we have currently. And speaking of which, uh, we're going to have a go have a quick look at the uh, um, barracks here real quick. So I did elect, because we had, it didn't cost me very much to switch these mechs up. Like, because most of them are Omnis, it's just really easy to switch things around, right? So I had, I think, 3.6 million 
to start at the end of la, or the middle of last month, end of last month, roughly. And most of the mechs came back real quick because I only went through one financial report, which was a million. So I only spent like one and a half million and 0.5 of that, like 0.5 million of that was respecing Jenkins. So we had the additional piloting skill here for evasion, which isn't going to help us at all because all the mechs that he's piloting are... Um, are going to be slow now. There's nothing that's going to be speedy at all. So there's no advantage in taking that. But I did decide to take hard case uh, to give him uh, bonus panic resistance and reduce the stability damage taken. I was going to go my my typical uh, along the lines and do tactics, but then I thought I'd just try something different. You know, chances are he's going to get shot a lot. Let's keep him in the cockpit by keeping the panic resistance saves up and reducing his stability damage. And then I added another point. We had some some points left over. I added another point to Guts to give him the plus three injury resist, which is helpful. So this guy is spec for recoil too. So we got minus one recoil here. Uh, when we use control burst, minus 20% jam chance multiplier. Plus we've got the minus one recoil here. So this should help out a little bit with the PPC and stuff, but we'll just see how it goes. Now, after that long-winded explanation, let's jump into the command center. There's an interesting mission here I want to take, and I have no idea what to expect. Because I've never taken this type of mission before. So it's Ethereal Cowboy, right? We have a situation we'd like to help with. Detect our joint task force of Marion and Marion units operating openly on the planet. We need to hunt them down and turn them into scrap, right? Um, but they don't have enough guys to be able to do that. We want to send a lance with us to a company uh, or, or send us, have us send a lance to a company, their team. And then we can engage the enemy and have uh, and negate their numerical advantage. So... I've never tried this mission before, and this is the first time I've actually seen it. Uh, I may have seen it before and just completely forgotten about it, but I don't remember. So I'm going to go full salvage. We're going to take this one today. I'm interested to see how this plays out. Now, we do have to do some tweaks here. So let's move Junker back. We're going to keep the fire truck. I, I've decided to keep the Hetzer in this Lance simply because the Hetzer is quick sell. I want to try and stay quick sell in this Lance. So. Metal comes in here. We get the quick sell for Vindicator down here. And you can move to there. Now, I've only got one dropship, but when I go to Lance B, it's giving me an option to drop. Are these battle armor? Oh, they're battle armor slots. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. So if I have battle armor, I can drop battle armor too as well. So you can drop eight units, eh? Well, that's interesting. Maybe we should look for some battle armor then. We'll need to find vehicles with the ability to carry them, but that's a possibility. Anyway, we're one skull. This mission's a two skull, so let's uh, deploy and see if we can uh, get this done. Yep, I know it's underweight. Yeah, it's, let's go. Command interface initiated. All right, well, here we go. Ooh, what are you? That's an urban mech. I don't know what the hell that is, though. It's interesting looking, whatever it is. Let's not get killed. Regroup at that location for extraction, huh? Listen, mercenaries, do also a very stay out of the way. Let us for sure. You can take you can take all the damage if you'd like. This guy for real shit. I'd say let him take all the enemy fire. Yeah, I, I plan to. Stick to them. Stick near them and keep them alive. Doesn't matter who gets the kills, as long as the professionals make it back more or less intact. Okay, well. Let's settle up and clear this this uh, location and go home, eh? Wait, are we dropping in the same spot? Wait, what? We got just got vehicles on our side? So these are our guys here. Uh, and the enemy lance was there. Now there's two lances. There's not just one. They got two. I guess they're all up there. Well, we could keep them alive for by attacking these guys from behind. Now nah, they're up over a hill, though. I guess we're getting shot at down here. I don't like this at all. 
Um, okay, so if I take that hill, okay, I can get down over here. You know me and like getting myself into positions I can't get myself out of. Uh, yeah. I think we're good here. Somebody's got copters. Sure as hell ain't me. Wait, what the hell is this? What the hell was that? Oh, they got battle armor. Oh, we got copters. What do we got here? Cavalry. Scatty. I'm being flanked. Looks like a Jenner. Oh, of course. Chompy. That's this guy here. It's Chompy. Miss Lynx, J. Okay. Maybe we can get some good stuff. It better be more than just one lance up here. Bombard. That was what this guy was. There's supposed to be a joint force. Ravager RAV. LRM 3s, light rifles. Yeah? Well, at least you can move and get your ass out of the, uh... Probably not that far that way. Hmm, let's not go where the bombard can see us. Okay, this is an interesting... I want to go full out. Let's move to here. we got to get as much evasion as we can, just to deter them wanting to shoot at us. Five's not bad. Yeah, get him. Apparently not, eh? Alright. Don't engage, then. Well, I guess that's the rocket version of the Irby. Hang in there, buddy. Ah, nope. Not today. Fuck. Got something you want done? Well, he's not going to be the star of the show today, apparently. Let's go give it to somebody over here. So this is the guy that... Was it this guy that fired or was... No, I think it was the urban mech that fired. Well, I got, like, really low, uh... Really low frame rates going on today for some reason. It's, like, slow. We'll take that shot. Roger that. It sounded like one hit looks like part of the bar got taken off, so it only does 15 damage. He's in trees, it's probably 10 damage or something. Alright, Scooter. You. Um, do we push these guys hard like we did before? It's like charging straight uphill into the like, lion's jaw, though. You can't shoot, so let's get over here in the trees. It's fine for now. What's up, Bach? You can't shoot either, so let's just finish up our turn behind the wall here. I tried to cram a bunch of jump jump jets into this thing too to help with mobility, but I couldn't get. Uh, I think we're gonna go this way. It's a little faster, I think. I couldn't get them in there, not be able to maintain what we had, like weapons and stuff like that. And then I looked at the jump, and the jump was like two or something like that. So I'm like, what the? F Why even bother? Oh, see, like that's a pretty good chance to hit. So he's probably got howitzers or something. 
This guy shot his load, so he's useless. So let's just take a shot at this guy. Yeah. Or do we wait a turn? No, nah, let's just try and get some early damage in. Alright, not bad. That'll screw up his sensors a bit too, right? Oh, somebody's got Goss Rifles. So much for being an artillery mech. Uh, we all know who to target now, please. <laughs> Let's get this guy killed fast. What has he got, 800 armor or something? Come on, Scatty, do some damage. Oh, yeah, man. Double 10? Has he got a double 10? He fired twice, so he probably does. Thousand armor. Well, we st that guy stripped Commander. a bunch of it already. Uh, how far can you get? You know you're going to be a target. You just know it. So we don't even have enough uh, resolve. So let's get to... Not to there. Like this. Let's move. I want to get closer before I fire, so we're going to set up here. Get a little bit of protection from the trees, and then we'll dart in next turn. We should be able to get to somewhere in here, I think. Alright, let's see what they do here. They sh there's supposed to be two lances. I don't know why there's only one. It's a joint exercise. Unless the other lance drops in at some point. Okay, someone's got peeps. Damage is minor, Commander. Let's keep it that way. Is that the missling that fired? Yeah, I had a feeling the Vindicator was going to be targeted by a lot of enemies, which is why when I'm like, ah, you know, maybe I should take the hard case, reduce the stability, and reduce the chance of bailing out. Oh, there's another Lance. Ragin. Large pulses damage. Medium mech, 50 tons. All right, a little bit of salvage on there. Standing by. I was hoping because these guys are Marians, they would have been more quick sell guys, but, uh... I guess you take what you can get. Let's get into here. We gotta kill this Bombard fast. The only way to do that is to close with him. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Not terrible. We'll take that shot. Aye, aye. Well, the wreck's hit. Or the, sorry, the X-Pulse, I guess. Good damage. Oh, he's unstable. He's going on 15 now, which means he'll get ahead of everybody. He's going now, I think. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We got enough firepower to lo add a lot of instability to that guy. Yeah, you're not going to get that shot the second time. You got to drop your recoil, buddy. So that's a walk. Yeah, man, keep the evasion up. Keep it up. Dodge, weave, parry. <laughs> Whatever you can do, stay alive. We weakened his arm, though, so we should be able to yes, try and take that this turn. Let's close with that rotary. We're going to wind it up. Oh, yeah, I know. There's more guys over there. I saw them before. Intercept them before they can flank us. What the fuck are you talking about? They've already... Oh, Cephalus. What the hell? Really? That's some clan gear right there. Double XL, though, so we should be able to kill that easy by taking a torso. They got some uh, half decent tech here. I'm going after this guy. we got to nullify these Goss Rifles first. Let's wind it up and just hammer him. Or maybe just only hit him once. How does that sound? What is it? Why with the... Why?
Even the hacks are doing better than we are. That's not true. I'm here. We are superior. I'm sprinting, so I'm dropping my recoil so I can get a little closer here. I'm Hopefully away. we get into uh, missile back. range. I don't think we're in range. We, uh, we might be. Yep, we are. Yeah, man. It's Jenkins! See ya! Tango down. Take him down like a pro, baby. Every time. <laughs> Maybe not every time. But more often than not. Props to Quick Cell, baby. Props to Quick Cell. I gotta say, if you guys try this, if you guys try it, it's tricky because it, getting the mech parts is the tricky part, and getting the equipment is the tricky part. But once you get it, it's a, it's. I gotta say, it's. Oh shit, that hit, that hurt. It's a very interesting playthrough. Reporting major armor loss. Yeah, I saw that. It's a very interesting playthrough. Receiving you. Don't care about the Cephalus currently. This is the guy we want here. So let's push him. We're going to leave the rack off though. The uh, recoil is redonkulous at this point anyway. So we'll leave this off. It only had like a 25% yeah, chance to hit. There's no point. We'll fire the rest of the stuff though. I mean we're getting recoil from these guys but at least we have a better chance to hit. Engaging. Streaks hit. Nice. What do we got here? Is that a Centurion? Yeah, H3. There's one more guy somewhere. Good to go. The battle armor kind of worries me. It'll be different once we arrive here, though. Just a chance to hit. I think that's probably a better spot. Full speed, no target. And now we somehow don't have a... Did we not have a chance to hit that guy right here? Or am I mistaken? I could be mistaken. Well... Fuck this guy. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Target's taking a critical hit. <laughs> I love this thing! <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Light damage. Holding firm. I did not expect that auto cannon to hit at all. At all. Alright, we're still good in stability. Let's move in here. We're going to turn this way a little bit, though. Understood. Moving fast. So we are a little warm here. This guy's burning up, though. So let's take a shot at this guy. Acid first. I want this guy gone. I don't want him shooting this PPC anymore. Firing all weapons. All right, not bad. Take that. Not bad. The only thing we're missing now is the, uh, the fi unfortunately the fire truck. Yeah, damn. We need it. We, we I, I don't know. Maybe I need to get a backup flamer in here somewhere. Maybe we turn the, the uh, Vindicator. Or not, the, the, sorry, the Valkyrie into a flamer because it's fast. Ready for orders. And we move some of the gear off of it. Yeah, let's go after this guy. Position confirmed. So we dropped the recoil off that rack and now we've got a good chance to hit. We'll turn it back on again. And uh, let's just give it to him. Taking the shot. See ya. Hostile eliminated. 
So that's probably an Inner Sphere XL engine in that thing. I've been finding most of the um, clan gear that's been being used by Inner Sphere. It's got the Inner Sphere XL, which is why it goes down so quickly. Ready for orders. Gonna keep myself turned this way because we do have a guy over here to the left, out uh, to the right, this side. You know, you know, you know what side I'm talking about. This side. Let's take a shot at this guy. Confirm. Ah well. That's fine. Hopefully our allies don't shoot us in the back though. Still got our second rotary to go. We can just bring that forward. I think I might bring the Hetzer up over here. Bring him in a striking distance of some of these guys. I don't know what the Cephalus is going to be hard to see. It's got. Re is he just. Who was it that went there? Receiving you. He's going to be hard. The Cephalus will definitely be hard to see. They got so much stealth systems and shit on them. Rotary's still pretty good. Um, let's leave the we're we're hot because we went through fire. Let's just leave that off. Oof! Good damage. Good damage. Maybe Mr. Choppy can kill that uh, Cephalus. It's fast too. I mean, you guys saw it when we when we had it before. It's ridiculously fast. Let's just go up here. Roger. See if we can spot him. Nope, we're dropping uh, recoil though. So one of the things. Um, when the store clicked over, or actually when I loaded in, when the store clicked over it was not it was garbage, but there was um, half tons of um, AC-20 ammo. So I bought a bunch of that so we can get the uh, the quick sell um, double 20 up and running on something. So I bought four half tons, which is 12 shots. It's like three shots a half ton. Um, you'll get more ammo by buying in half tons for AC-20s, because AC-20s you get five rounds per ton. But if you buy a half ton, you get three rounds. Ooh, nice. So, I bought the half... The only thing is you're using more slots, right? So, I bought a bunch of half tons. Plus, because you're using more slots, there's more of a chance of taking a crit and getting killed because of it. I want this Hetzer to, to core somebody from behind. I don't know if we could do that though from where we are because I think that's a ridge over there now, looking, now that I'm looking at it. Oh yeah, man. Another dropship, eh? Okay. Alright, they got another dropship coming. Well, they're already... I mean, it's now it's going to be 9 versus... Nine, because we've got three guys on our side. So it'll be even again. I was actually concerned this wasn't going to be an even fight, but looks like it might be. They'll all be in one spot, too. Once we can get rid of this guy. I don't want him at our back. So if we can push up... Keep those guys bottlenecked over here. Because there's not really a lot of room. I mean, they can come down this way, I guess, and around. But that's kind of a ramp that goes up. So if we can kind of come up here and take the high ground, we can probably own them down there. Waiting for orders. Now, I don't see the Cephalus anywhere. God knows where the damn thing is. can't see those guys on the hill. This thing is so slow. Let's just move to here. We're gonna drop heat this turn. 
I'm gonna save my ping till I get a little closer and I can't fire. Hopefully we can help everybody out here. Come on, air cab. Good damage, man. Props to you. Strip some of that armor off him if you can. Oh, there's the cephalus there. All right. Uh, my ping would have would have would have picked him up then. Yeah, that guy's got mediocre weapons at best. Oh, there it is up there. It vanished. Okay. Standing by. Hoping we could get a shot off at it, but. Yeah, see, I don't want those the battle armor at my back if I'm fighting these guys down here. But I can't get to them. Not without exposing myself, so. I don't want you taking them that guy by yourself. I'll tell you what, let's just hang on. Aye, aye. Landed the shot. That's pretty good. Commander. Alright, we're gonna drop heat and recoil this turn. We're gonna be combating this guy next turn, I think, for this for this hill. So we'll push him, try to kill him quick, and then we'll go after this battle armor. It's gonna be hard to take down take down as well, but uh We'll see what we can do. There's a commando over here. Hopefully it's not the rocket version. Maybe that guy will kill him. Not if he keeps firing every turn, he won't. Energy weapons. Five of them, so it's not a quick sell mech. From my experience, all quick sell mechs have only got... Uh, They've only got three, like the light mechs have only got three weapon slots. Everyone that I've encountered has only got three weapon Ready slots. Forward. It's always three. But it's only three. Don't know if he can get a back strike. We got somebody else to fire yet. Orders. Let's go with you first if we can. Rack's jammed. We need to get closer. No shooting, just running. I'm just gonna go with the streaks. We gotta drop heat. Might as well drop recoil at the same time. So that's pretty good. I'll just fire the streaks. Engaging target. Okay, good. To so start. You. Yeah, if we turn this guy into a uh, a flamer mech, he's got the speed. Got it. Let's get up here, and I think I'm going to vigilance this if we got it. Yeah, we got enough. He reserved last turn, so let's get the shot in on him, do some damage, and then we'll get the hell out of here. Fuck, really? Negative damage. You know, I could Standing by. insert negative comment here. It says 7.3. He doesn't get his evasion bonus and I'm shooting him from behind. That could be a very quick kill. I'm gonna take the on the move. Full speed. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Thirteen, huh? It's even worse on this guy, but the machine guns are good. Tell you what. Let's leave that off. Let's just take our shot here with the machine guns. 
because then we have to drop recoil and I would rather save this double and then go after somebody else next turn with it right away. Got the angle, taking the shot. All right, not bad. Scored a critical hit. Maybe we can panic them a little bit. There's that drop ship. Screw with the wrong people. You better start running now. Depends on what you drop. That looks like a Valkyrie. How much you want to bet he doesn't even try and ask for help? I don't make losing bets, Mayor. Commander, you're going to have to handle that Lance too, whether he asks for our help or not. Really? Okay, the Centurion was part of the other Lance. I don't know what that guy is yet. That's a lot more damage than I was hoping. That guy's pretty fast. That looks like an Uziel, but I could be wrong. I think I am wrong. Oh, it might be. Cattle Master. And I know there's a copter there. Yeah, there it is there. It's a Verbi. Ready for orders. All right, that's interesting. We have to take this hill. I don't have a choice. Let's get up here. Aye, aye. We gotta try and push and kill this battle armor. It's just gotta happen. Alright, this fire on this guy. Alright, at least we got a laser hit on him. It's all gonna be attrition here now. These guys are so slow. At least the battle armor has kind of exposed themselves. I think if we move over here, we could probably get a shot at them. Good to go. Can we? Barely. High tailing it. I'm gonna push up. Maybe we can force this guy back if we put enough lead into his face. Those are good chances to hit. Uh, bad because we went through the heat, but... Ah, fuck. Well, we'll minimize what we shoot here. I want the instability, I think, more than anything, so let's just use the rack on him. Okay, it's not bad. Stripping armor. Stripping armor, creating some instability. Light LRM carrier, okay. Interesting. I have no idea what the fuck just happened with that guy. What mech was that? The commando? I, await your command. I think that was the commando. He may have had like a uh, TSM or something like that. Or a uh, mask and was con just continuously using it. Doesn't matter where I go, I'm going to be through flames, eh? We need the better chance to hit, so let's go here. I'll take the flames. We'll minimize what we shoot, I guess. Come on, show me what we got here. That can stay off. But I think the rest of this needs to stay on. Um, we're going to go acid with the regular one. And then the holly will go standard. And then let's hammer him. Okay, not bad. He's not having a good day. He goes on 10. So we go before him. Oh, yeah, the double AC-20 is going to go before him too, and he's unstable. He's in a bad spot. Yes! Fuck those guys. One of the battle armors died. Just walk it up. Get a good line. Copy that. Let's reveal ourselves a little bit to those guys up there too to give them a second target. Let's go after this guy with everything. Yep, here it comes. Okay, 
Okay, head hit, nice. Yeah, we're putting a double AC-20 around, and that guy's CT. I'm going to turn the machine guns off. Yeah. We turn the machine guns off so they don't jam. Go down, put a double AC-20 round into the guy. And then come back up with the machine guns and go after the, uh, the battle armor. I think that's what we do. So he's got an Ultra 10. Or, yeah, Ultra 10. He's super hot, too. Ah, I'm missing the fire truck right about now. What a difference that thing makes. You know? It's such a huge difference. It really just shifts the tide of the battle. Like, being able to tie up one or two mechs by overheating them can make all the difference in the world. So Cephalus is probably going at this point. No, our AC, our air cavalry is going. Okay, good. Tie that guy up. Tie that guy up. Mr. Chompy, I don't think he's even going to get into this fucking battle. Hopefully he goes after the cattle master. Where is he? Still, like, like really? See what I mean about melee mechs? I don't, I don't think this guy's really a melee mech. I think he's got a bunch of stuff for, for being a melee mech. Like, he's got the Chompa and whatever else. These are AMS so we can get in close, but he's too fucking slow to do a goddamn thing. Like, he's going to be zero impact on this battle, pretty much. And he's got the rockets that he's using, but once they're gone, what's he going to do? Receiving you. Can't get a solid line. I can't hear, though. Don't like this positioning, but we're going to do it. Now, do we have... We do, but I don't think this is going to put us ahead of the battle armor. I'm going to use it... Uh, yeah, I'm going to use it anyway. Still no chance to hit, huh? Alright, well, we're taking this shot. Nope. Damn. I was really hoping for a hit there. Alright, we got one of the machine guns unjammed. Is it just one? Probably. Yeah, it's just one. Yeah, you run. Okay. Yes, Commander. Oh, you did get ahead of the battle armor. I copy. Yeah, we gotta get it. We gotta drop our recoil again. God, the recoil is like just so stupidly huge. But it just makes it fair, though. All right, let's just fire, fire at these guys. I don't know how much damage that was. Commander. We got to kill these guys. I think we can leave the medium Rex off. We'll go with these two. Locking on target. All right. Well, small, small uh, Rex hit. That's important. Rex unjammed. Nice. Yeah, if we can kill this guy, get him out of our way. I don't have no fucking clue where the Cephalus is. Let him run around like a like a turkey. I don't care. If he's not shooting us, I don't care. Although it's going to be tough to track him down and kill him at the end of the battle, but whatever. Yeah, you know what? Playing with the allies on, like like in this battle here, I don't miss them at all. 
The only reason, the only reason why I say that, yeah, saw that coming. The only reason why I say that is that it just slows the battle down too much. You know, because not only are you waiting for the enemies to move, you're waiting for all your own guys to move. And for me, especially like, like early to mid game, it's just too much. Just way too slow. I don't have enough guys on the battlefield to make things like incredibly interesting for too long. Oof. Fly up there and hit him with that hit that guy up there with your ultra man. I gotta get that battle armor out of here. He's still got a lot of armor left. They've lost, lost one. Take, they got 97 hit points. It's like a ton of armor. Standing by. We gotta stay away from, stay away from them, but also kind of keep them in range so we can hit them. And not give them the ability to hit us. That should keep them at, Confirm. like, out of the range to be able to swarm me, I think. I think we're far enough, because they got to come through rough and stuff to get to me. I don't think they can. We'll find out soon enough, though, I guess. All right, let's hope the streak's hit. Ooh, X-Pulse hit, though. All right. That helps. What was that from? It's not from the Verbi. No, Cattle Master. Oh, interesting. Okay. Nope, Cattle Master's moving now. Maybe it was the Verbi that shot. I thought the Verbi just had the AC-10 with five rounds. Maybe, maybe there's different versions of it. I've only ever seen the one. I gotta get too close if I do that. Fuck. We could risk it in vigilance. No, the chance to hit's too low. God, that puts me in a potential for backstrike. Okay, well, I'm going to take this shot and hope we can get ahead of that guy next turn. And then we can get up the hill. We'll have another guy on the hill. There's the Cephalus down there. Let's shoot this guy. But let's make sure we have enough. Yeah, we've got to drop something. That. We'll go with the better chances to hit here. Um. No, let's go this route. Let's go with a more chance to hit. Yes, nice. Yes, goodbye. Hostile removed. Let's drop their numbers, baby. Let's keep dropping the numbers. So they should have about seven left. Oh, Chompy's actually engaging. Nice. Is that, the, is that the last of your rockets, or do you have a few more? Probably has a few more. That, when that round went by, I had to look over my shoulder to make sure it didn't knock my picture off the wall behind me. It's a little close for my liking. Yeah, these guys are all grouped up in here now. Yeah, no, see, he does... Oh, he does have missile. Energy and ballistic. I thought it was just like the AC and then a medium laser. Maybe he's got a couple of rocket packs as well. I can't remember. They will be done. Will it? Orders. Come on, you laggy fuck. 
I guess it's there. Primitive. Full speed sounds good. Might as well do this. Alright, might help a little bit. Damn, the battle armor still goes first. Well, they're fast. Come on, hang in there, buddy. Yeah, Uziel. I don't know if we have any Uziel parts. I think Richard was saying that it was like it's actually a really good mech. I know I had one at one point in time. Hang in there. Okay, good. That guy fighting the battle armor is a bad idea. We gotta get him the fuck out of there. We're gonna need him for down here for sure. Really? Not gonna do anything, huh? Oh yeah, the ammo? Is that what it is? No, you got plenty of SRMs. You just don't feel like fighting, I guess. He's like, ah, we gotta even the fight. We gotta even the fight. Let I'll let them kill me. I'll just let them kill me. Nice hit. Furby's got a half decent amount of armor, though. Standing by. All right, heavy metal. Let's get up here. Can we get this battle armor? Yeah, there's a back shot right there. Can't get too close, but we will get to here. Once this battle armor is gone, we should be pretty good, I think. Yeah, we gotta go with all this stuff. Leave the rack off, because it's not gonna help us at this point. You got the drop on you, pal. Yes! Sorry. Yes! Alright, big Tex. No, that's not a good idea. That's a better idea. I'm interested to see, see what my light rotary rifle chance is here. Garbage. Everything's garbage with this guy for some reason. But we'll turn it off. We'll go with the medium improved. Just so we can drop recoil with this thing. Putting one in the back. Nothing. You're killing me here. You're killing me here. Okay, that should be the end of his rockets, probably. Good damage, though. Thanks for stripping armor. Now all you have to do is close and attempt to chop somebody. Oof, thank God that guy's a terrible pilot. We should see how he does against a, a double AC attack. If I can whip down here and drop a double AC on him. Why am I still so burning up here? Did I take an engine hit? Maybe I did. Maybe I took a torso engine hit. That will be bad. Wait, who is that? This guy? I think he's got the handheld rotary. I'm ready. Christ, this thing is so slow. No shooting, just running. I think I just because I went through fire, maybe it maintained the heat. I don't know. Oof, Chompy, you're not gonna get to do a goddamn thing. Hopefully, that was an arm hit, and not a. Uh... Nope, it was a torso hit. Receiving you. Yeah, get back over here. 
Let's not let that guy, uh... On it. Let's not let that guy get too close. I hate dealing with these things now, but we gotta get rid of them, because if we don't, we're in a lot of trouble. Locking in all weapon systems. At least one of the lasers hit. Oh, he's critical. Commander. Ooh, and everything's up and running. Okay, so that's the right. Turn the left. Do it that way. I was going to go down after the, after the mechs, but I think uh, because this guy's got some open areas here. I'm going to try with the Ultra 2. We might get the kill here. Nope. Target's taking a critical hit. Destroyed a bunch of weapons though, which is a bonus. He doesn't got much hasn't got much time to live. By the time the Vindicator gets up and into battle, this guy should be dead. <laughs> in theory. In theory. Alright, he doesn't have much teeth left. Systems holding. If he can get on me, he'll have teeth, but I don't think he's got much teeth left. Oof. Really? If they die, we don't get paid, huh? Fuck. Okay. I guess I better pay more attention. Don't fucking die. Me telling him is not going to help, is it? What turn are we on? Yeah, thanks for showing up. They're gonna kill these guys. We have to forget about the battle armor now. Oh, crap. See ya. Fuck me. <laughs> We're gonna lose this one. Damn it. At least, like, two of them are, like, completely overheated. We're on 20. So, I mean, we still all go here. Number 17, it's us. What are you doing? Please tell me you're not just going to sit there. Oh sure, why not? You might as well drop all of your protection and not move. You just gave it to them. The LRM carrier. Alright, I guess we gotta try and kill this descent. Good to go. Okay, you can't get down there this turn. Let's move here. No shooting, just running. I think I just exposed the wrong side of that guy, though. Probably. Acknowledged. Reporting critical hit. Oh, we got two units or one? We've got one. Standing by. Okay, let's not expose too much, but let's no go shoot. after this guy down here. See if we can get them to engage us. So this guy's unstable. 
Let's let him have it with everything. For an alpha strike. Ooh, we hit the leg. Got the leg. Reporting. Critical hit. Ultra 10 crit, that's good. Pilot injury. He's bleeding. No, he's not. Is he? Standing by. He's something. Understood. Moving. All right. I don't know. Mm. Do I try and kill the scent, or do I try to uh, attract the attention of somebody else? Let's try and kill this guy. We'll go for his torso. I'm gonna leave that off because we have a low chance to hit. This way we can move farther next turn. Okay, there goes his whole side. Scored a critical hit. One of three health. Ready to get it on. All right, let's see who we can shoot here. This might be a bad move because they can they can all see me now, but we got to go after somebody here. So, Uziel probably. The scent is pretty much out of the battle. Verbi gunship has got a fair amount of armor, and it's damaged on the far side. Probably this guy. He's damaged on the far side as well. How much armor do you have? Your armor is garbage. We might get that kill there if we just shoot him. But I think we need to distract these guys. So let's go straight on this Uziel here. See if we can get him shooting at somebody else. Target's taking a critical hit. Nice. Got past the armor. I'm your spaniel. Now, Monsieur Jenkins. I'm vigilanting you. We're gonna move up into here. Got it, Commander. Let's see if we can claim that Uziel now. And I think we leave the small X pulse off for now, so we're not going too too hot. Um, I'm gonna go to standard and leave the acid off. Hopefully, we can get more more damage done this way. Hopefully, we're hitting open areas with this. Yep, see ya. Do the math, Chief. One less target. Okay. Getting serious now. Alright. Braced up at least. Flanking. Yeah, well, we knew that was going to happen. Not much we can do about it. They don't have teeth left, though, so we're not worried about it. Right? Stand right? By. Fuck this Cephalus. Um, actually, can I get him? I can get everybody within arc. So let's just see what the best chance to hit on these people are. So we've got... A Cephalus. Ooh, really great chance to hit here. How much armor do you have? Like, nothing. I could switch these both to uh, Acid. He's only got one energy weapon, though. I mean, really, the threat is this guy at this at the moment with the rotary. Almost no armor either. Okay, you're on the ground. You're going to die this turn, probably. Verbi's got the big ballistic. You know what? Let's try and pull the Verbi down. He's got the big solid shot ballistic, so let's let's try and get the kill on this guy if I can. Okay, good damage. Solid connection on that one. Got past the armor. We've got guys that go before him too. Oh, that was a uh, damn it rotor hit. All right, we got some good damage in on him though. We might be able to get him with the uh, the panther here. Come on, move! You gotta move. His double AC is gone now. It's misfired too many times. He just keeps shooting it. Well, 
even being wounded or whatever, he still goes on initiative 20. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, thanks for being here. I want to kill that cattle master with the uh, Hetzer. It's kind of a suiting end for that, uh, the cattle master. But we'll see here. So they're down to what, five? Three, four, five, six. I got six left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. I was forgetting this guy. Let's see what he does. Oh, is that what you think you're going to do? Watch the side. Is that how you want to play the game? Because we can play that game. I mean, I'm pretty good at that game, actually, so... LRM carrier. Fuck. Not good. My internals are taking a beating. I don't know what side that was. I think that's the left side, which is bad if it is. No, it's the right side. I don't think we have anything on the right side anyway, so... We're kind of... Oh, I mean, if they blow through that torso he's going down but waiting for orders sorry if they blow through that torso she goes down it's all over for her don't have a lot left though so that's the left side which means I gotta turn the right side technically to the enemy as much as I wanted to go after that verbi I think this is the better move And we're going to go all in here and hopefully we can uh, kill this guy and hopefully the battle armor doesn't kill us. Alright, here it comes. Nice. Tango down. Back game played. Back game won. Ooh, nice shot. That's why I wanted to kill that thing. That shot went internal. It did, I saw that. Hopefully it didn't go internal and anywhere important. Well, that's where all our weapons are, so that is kind of important. Ready for orders. They're gonna shoot us anywhere, it's gonna be where all of our weapons are. Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys. Alright, let's try and kill this Verbi. He still is the threat. Confirmed. Firing. See ya. Target eliminated. The Lerms could be bad too, but... Waiting the big orders. solid hits are the ones that are really terrifying. Sense only got a medium laser, so I'm not really that worried about it. Let's go after this guy. Let's get the kill. Roger. See ya. Alright. Hit him hard now. What, that wasn't hard enough? Eliminated. How hard do you want to hit him? Like that was a pretty solid hit. Waiting for orders. Ooh, handheld rack two. All right, because we used it last turn. That's right. Move order received. Get the jamming. Just turn it off this turn. Hammer this guy with this stuff. Fire. Ooh, brutal. See ya. Target neutralized. Are there none that can withstand me? Fucking guys. Okay, good. They got two left. Did we kill? We killed three last yeah, turn, eh? Alright, so I gotta make sure my left. No, right? Fucking directions. Fuck directions. Alright, let's just shoot everything at this guy. Oh my god. That hit something good. 
I never expected that many hits. Waiting for orders. We'll take it. Um, I was going to use this guy against him, but I think we're going to shoot the cattle master. So we've got to keep our left side turned away. So we'll got do this. Commander. Let's get this crapple master done. Going to leave the acid up. Whatever we, whatever rounds we land, land with acid, it's just going to help everybody else out. So. Got it, commander. Ooh. Okay, that was way more than I expected. Reporting critical hit. Have a seat. Apparently not. Doesn't matter how much damage I do, he's never gonna have a seat. Yes, Commander. Well, heavy metal. Mm, I think we go here. I was gonna move a little closer, but I think the rack has got like a minimum range. So I want to keep that thing. Well, this guy's dead. Uh, here's something for you. Here it comes. Ow. Hostile removed. Yeah. So my plan worked out, with the exception of killing the battle armor before coming down the hill. Receiving you. I think if we if we didn't need to protect our allies, we. That would have been fine, you know? Because the allies at this point aren't doing anything. They're just there as, because we have to, they have to be there. But it just upped our, upped our timetable a little bit. Ooh, nice damage. Another unit down. Take that. Not bailing out, huh? Yes, Commander. Can you get the MGs back here? Let's move. I'm firing the AC too. I don't care what the recoil is. Because if we get a lucky... Oh, never mind. I was going to say if we get a lucky shot it'll be worth it, but at 0.9%, yeah. We'll worry about the lucky shot next turn. I copy. Ready for orders. Alright, buddy. Uh, you don't think you can do a damn thing. Let's just reserve. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't think that guy can get to a position where he can see me. I gotta worry about losing my arm, but I don't think they had the juice. They don't have the firepower to do it. They don't, they don't have the firepower to take my arm. Shooting the wrong guy anyway. That's fine. Damage is minor, Commander. That's fine. Standing by. Well, he did move himself into a position to be shot at, so we will take that shot. And we'll use everything but... Now we'll go with the Holly because there's a better chance to hit. Yeah, we'll keep ourselves under heat, but we'll fire the rest of this at him. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. Morning See ya. Battle mech down. There it is, folks. We even did it one short. Mission successful. Well, that's actually pretty good there. Let's hope the fire truck's not gone though. I think we do have another piece. We should be okay. I don't think we lost any components. Well, the kills were pretty good. We got five for the Vindicator. Metal in the in the, uh, Vindic in the uh, uh, Jenkins Old Panther picked up three. So, yeah. At least we didn't get any inj injuries on our pilot either. If they bailed out, then kudos to them because I would rather keep the pilot than the fire truck. Let's see what we got here. Oh boy, this should be interesting. Okay, let's go to storage so we can see what mech parts we have. So this is the C variant with a plasma cannon and flamer. The bombard. I mean, I really shouldn't be looking at this stuff. Um, swaps up the Thunderbolt launchers in favor of two Clan Tech Goss rifles and replaces the ER lasers and with two M pods and a supercharged double XL engine. Well, that's a good use of a bombard. Oh, it's it's this commando. The Arena. Remember way way back. 
way way back we when they they had they used to have these things it was like a ppc snub nose ppc and something else the, these things used to have and i always used to want them there it is there for eugen full mac uzio to all oh, we can get a full uzio it's only 50 tons though what is it four laser and one missile hardpoint It's the 4L. I mean, we could just as quickly assemble it. Yeah, the Kalayama, this is the one that's on the Verbi gunship. It's actually not a bad um, AC because it does 70 damage, and it's an AC-10. 12% jam chance, though, mitigated by gunnery. It's not a bad weapon. There's the Clan Goss rifle, light PPCs. Medium improved heavy. There's another one. We've got one already in storage. MR MRM-10. Might be a possibility. Pair of snub nose PPCs, we have none. Ultralight rotary, which is what we're rocking right now. Clan armor. Compact. We got a ton of compact heat sinks for some reason, but we have no compact heat sink kit. Double plus exchanger. We've already got one of these. Ballistic accuracy. I should take this. Although this is really nice too, Gauss accuracy and Gauss damage. Hmm. Do we roll the dice and go with who would have had the ballistic accuracy? Probably the Centurion. It could have been the Cattle Master, though. Could very well have been the Cattle Master. Slick sweets, these things are also really, really nice. Because it helps everybody in the lance, right? Plus one initiative for everybody. And then increased sensor and, and uh, sight range for everybody. Upper recoils. These were on the, most likely on the, where the, where the Gauss rifle was. Oh boy. The Bombard's probably going to give us the best salvage. The potential for the double XL engine for a sale, like that's almost a million right there. Because there's nothing else really that... I mean, Uziel, yeah, sure. It's another 50 ton, but we're already at the point where we're passing that. Ace Pilot Multi-Tracker at level 20, though. That's pretty nice. But 20 missions from now, we're going to be beyond that. Well, maybe not. Plus three pol bonus pilot health at level 40. Holy shit. What's the bombard giving you? Plus one arm mounted accuracy, which is pretty nice. Plus one defense. I mean, this thing's just a, a mech that just stands there and shoots at people. Kalayama, though, it's pretty damn nice. It's 12 tons. Two ER mediums. There's the Clan Goss. It's only 12 tons. Plus 100% crit. Ooh, it's tempting. And so is this. This is really nice, too. I like the MRM-10, but it's not, uh, with everything else here, it's not even worth it. Like most of this stuff I'll be happy to get in the roll. Advanced small cop, it's really nice too. Uh, double plus exchanger, this is really, really nice. Uh, is it worth it though? I don't know. That's really nice too, but we don't have a use for it at the moment. Light active probe. Half a ton. Patchwork materials. These are nice too. Mm, come on, man. Should have got off the pot here. Slick Sweet's nice. I don't know where it would go. Supercharger. Arm recoil. Plus one accuracy. So that's the advantage to using these guys over 
the quick sell version. The quick sell version weighs more. And no, it weighs the same, but you don't get the accuracy bonus. I'm going to grab one of these because I know we can just switch that out onto the avatar. It's a hard choice to take. There's so much good stuff here. But I think this is going to give us the best salvage, the best options for salvage. Because I'd like to get another one of these out of this. And hopefully the double XL engine. Let's confirm this. Alright. We lost the fire truck. Damn it. We got two parts back though. I think I've got another part we can uh, swap in. Urban mech part. We got an Uziel part. Okay, good. The Verb Verbi part. SRM Streak 6. Light Ultra Rotary, which is nice. That's a backup. Active Probe. Chameleon LPS. ECM. Fire Control System Indirect. Ballistic we got. Light Active Probe. Omni we got nothing here that I want to sell. Except for... Uh, no, we ha we're going to hang on to that too. There's nothing we're going to sell. So we got everything, that, lots of stuff that we can use. Yeah, well, let's just quickly go in and see if we can uh, reassemble that. 45,000. That's pretty good for that engagement. They had three lances. We had like one and a half. So it was a two to one odds pretty much. So we did okay. Uh, so what I want to do, I'm not going to put the bombard together right now because we've got the... Um, Improved automation and finishing, which will give us plus two more tech points, which will give us med or uh, yeah, mech tech at 27, which is slightly better. So hopefully we'll get more gear off it that way. I, I don't know, but I'm gonna hold off assembling the bombard though. But let's definitely go into the mech bay and see if we can find um, the ability to put that fire truck back together again. It really was disappointing that that got killed so quickly. I didn't think when I when I, I didn't think the urban mech was the rocket version. I didn't. I mean, it was pretty well camouflaged. What am I doing? Storage. It was pretty well camouflaged, so I had no idea um, what it was capable of there. Where are you? It just says cargo truck. Is it actually marked? There it is there. Fire truck. Yeah, we don't have parts. Damn. Mm. Alright, we're going to take some light missions and try and get it, get some parts for that thing. I'm going to have to search the search online and find out where uh, <laughs> find out where fire trucks are assembled and go and see if I can buy some parts. <laughs> ah, damn. Well, you know what? You know what was bound to happen? People were making comments like on the uh, videos that oh, the fire truck is actually the real star of the show. And I said the same thing. And just I just fucking totally jinxed it. That's exactly what happened. So, uh, not much I can do about that. Alright, well... Mm, sure. I'm probably going to have to assemble some of these lighter mechs too and just sell off whatever we can get for them. Because we're starting to run like... A pretty big ticket here so I'll probably get rid of a lot of these lighter guys see what what we can get but I will wait till after this uh, comes back so we can get the most amount out of it all right well next episode will be these guys and I don't know if we've got anything in system for them let me just have a quick look because if it's um, store please not store what am I doing command center um, greetings commander because if there's nothing for those guys... Oh, there's a three-skull base defense. Against two, though. Marians. Oh. That's actually not bad. I think we'll take that one. These guys aren't liking us that much anymore, though. We could go against Tamron Abbey. But if we're going to do that, let's do a... This is an escort, though. Three and a half escort? Where is it? In the desert? It'll be that little short drive, probably. 
Hopefully, well, maybe it's not. Well, maybe it won't be the short drive, but it could be. This is a straight-up fight versus what? Planetary government. This gives us more opportunity to wreck stuff, though. So we'll, we we might take this one. Yeah, I think we will. We'll take this one. Three and a half skulls ne next episode. All right, cool. Just wanted to make sure we had the ability to do some fighting here. All right, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And after today's battle, you know you got to go visit the Quicksell site. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>